Technology is great, but drop cell phone calls and slow data speeds still frustrate customers. Uh, so what's being done to keep the network up to speed with our demanding habits? On your side, consumer advocate Jen Strathman got a behind-the-scenes look at what carriers are doing to help you. Well, for the price paid to use a smartphone, users, of course, demand quality. And if you feel like you're being shortchanged, there are things you can do to make the carrier listen. Texting, talking, and surfing. Phones do more than ever, yet we still have that same old problem. The phone calls, they drop. How often do you have problems? Every day. It happens so often, it's easy to name that spot where you ask over and over. Can you, Can hear, you hear me, me now? 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 Coming over the bridge from Detroit. Between Rocky River and Wakewood, uh, I tend to lose calls. The new Stearns Crocker extension. Add Ted Vance's own home to the list. Oh, here, here's a call. Hello? 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 Speakerphone is a trick Ted tries. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. But sometimes it doesn't work. And, and it dropped. While it may feel like your cell phone company is dropping the ball, they are listening and testing. I'm doing a ping or I'm doing an upload. Meet Clark Kent. He isn't Superman, but he does have a souped up ride. Armed with cell phones, GPS, antennas, and computers, this $350,000 vehicle finds where the signal is super and soft. We're checking signal strength, proper handoff from site to site on our voice calls. If you drive from 480 West to 480 East, at least 20 different towers handle your signal. But I'm out there mimicking the actual user such as yourself. Clark hits the road every day to test the Verizon network and its competitors. Clark gets audible cues. Channel 4 a failed call. That tells me the channel 4 failed a call and I know what channel 4 is. And electronic data that's later mapped. Street by street, the carrier knows signal and data hotspots and low spots. You could actually do a comparison. Did we do better on Center Ridge Road than AT&T? AT&T runs Road Test 2, but says it also needs your help. If it's an area that's just always been weak and they think that we need a tower there, uh, we have an app on our iPhone and the uh, Android phones. I'll mark the spot. Alerting your carrier is key because no matter how much a company tests, channel one failed call. Your street simply may not stand out from thousands of others as a signal soft spot. We took Verizon's test card to Ted's trouble spot and didn't have as many problems. I can't really duplicate what's inside their house. The construction of your home, the number of people using a tower, and geography all make a difference. Might just be in a hollow here. Carriers are increasing capacity and adding new technology to boost signals, but sometimes you need to pay the price and boost your own signal. It's almost like having a small cell site in your home. So it works with your Wi Fi. It doesn't, it, you can have zero signal outside. Um, it'll work with your Wi Fi. Most carriers offer a product to extend the network. It's a question of whether you want to pay the price. <laughs> I've learned to deal with it. Dealing with it at home is one thing. At work for the North Olmsted Fire Department, Ted's not the only one impacted. We have to call the hospitals, emergency rooms, and tell them what we have as far as what we're dealing with with the patient and the care that we're giving them. And a lot of times we, when we can get through, it'll drop just like this did, and a lot of times we just can't get through. The fire chief said the signals are fine 90 to 95 percent of the time, and it hasn't negatively impacted anyone. Most of the time, they deal with minor medical issues. But even with the latest and greatest technology, sometimes that old stuff... The other option is radioing dispatch. ...still works best and helps you avoid asking... Can you hear me now? We also reached out to Sprint for this story, but for competitive reasons, the carrier would not give us specifics on testing or give us a behind-the-scenes look, but the company is monitoring its system 24-7. So do you want to know where your carrier's signal soft spots are or want to be a signal strength tester? Root Metrics is a third-party company that relies on users like you and its own testing to score the carriers. Go to Newsnet5.com for more information and a map to see where your carrier has the best coverage. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.